I am here with Quentin Taylor, Director of Information Security for Canon Europe. Quentin, thank you for coming by and stopping thank to visit. Opportunity. All right. Um, so you've had a walk about the show floor so far? I have, yeah. I've had a really good walk around this morning. It's, it's certainly larger. It feels larger than last year. Uh -huh. um, there's so much vibrancy here. There's, there's the, the energy here is amazing. Right. And is there anything interesting that caught your uh, attention in your walk? Yeah, the focus this year on mobility. Uh -huh. And I don't mean mobility in terms of the, the mobile mobility, because of course that is very, very important. But this whole idea that the data could be anywhere, that we need to focus on where the data is, rather than securing that device or that device. And this whole change of mindset mm -hmm. appears to be a lot more evident this year. Right, and you're part of the show's steering committee. So are, when you look at the educational program, are we hitting on the topics that are of concern to information security professionals? Yeah, I think we are. I think there's a good mix of the, the issues that are relevant right now and the more the longer term issues mm -hmm. that are going to be next year's problems that we need to start thinking about today. Mm -hmm. But still, I think um, as an industry, we are often way too forward thinking and not thinking very much about the short term, the things that are actually going to hit us this year or next year. We're thinking about the more exciting things that are happening in the future. And uh, I suppose that's what this show is about, is like thinking about the future. Right. But I think we've really got to have a focus on what's happening now and the risk of the right is now. And, and in your opinion, what is happening now? What are the major concerns that take the focus of security professionals? Well, I think a lot of people are thinking about things like cyber war, whereas in actual fact, that's probably not as relevant as a lot of people believe it probably is. If it is relevant to you, you know it's relevant to you. Mm -hmm. Things like data breaches, things about, and that's either deliberate or accidental data breaches, are absolutely critical. And all the legislation that's coming in around that. In Europe, we've got all the individual bits of legislation coming up from the individual countries, plus the overall legislation that's coming in from the EU. And we've got to be aware of all of this and how this impacts us, and particularly how it impacts us in terms of breach notification, in terms of instant notification, and just in general, the fact that we're now probably going to have mandated security, mandated security jobs, and mandated certs from the EU level. Okay. And your day job, your Director of Information Security for Canon Europe, yeah. tell me about a little about what you do there. Well, I sort of sit in between where I do the traditional information security risk role, plus also I um, work out with the business and talk to our business units about information security and then talk to our customers about information security and why it's important to them. Mm -hmm. So I take a much more of a, sort of a different role in between that traditional laser-like focus on pure IT security with the sort of the risk role. And also I talk, out to our, talk to our customers and talk about why it's important and how we can help them. Right. And of course, Canon, large manufacturer of copier and printers, multifunctional devices as they really are now. Um, it's a topic that's gotten a lot of attention on our, in our pages and on our website uh, when we cover reports, trends, as far as security risks. It's really a, an area that receives not so much attention and people don't recognize the risks that are involved with these multifunctional devices. Yeah, I mean, if we look at, for example, Canon's own Office Insight reports, where there was some independent research done there, where when we analyzed it, we realized that only 5% of information security departments were consulted on a multifunctional device purchase. And you can talk about all the different kinds of servers, you can talk about all the different kinds of solutions people might have, but everyone has printers. And the printers, by definition, always contain sensitive information. And yet, this thing that's been which potentially can be a risk, but can also be a massive security asset, is sitting there, all the users are using it, putting their sensitive information through it, and yet InfoSec professionals are not seeing it as a risk. Mm -hmm. And this concerns me, so I've been trying to do a lot of work with my peer group to say to them, look, get involved, there are solutions out there, there are things that can make these things, not just risks, but actually assets. Mm -hmm. They can help you out, where you can have context-sensitive printing, so you can work out what is someone printing, should they be able to print it to this printer? Should they not be able to print it to this printer? Do you want to log it? All of these kind of things. If you look at the ICO, the Information Commissioner in the UK, if you look at their fines, some research that we looked into, that something like 55% of, uh, of the fines have a printer at the root of the issue. Mm. And yet people are still not taking print security as seriously as it should be. Mm. People are taking cloud security seriously, taking mobile device security seriously, but if you look at the monetary penalty notices and the enforcement notices, the story really is there in the UK. And we can take that as being something to be mapped onto the rest of the European region. Those figures in there don't lie. They're very, 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 very clear figures that print lies at the root of an awful lot of data breaches, and it doesn't have to be. Right. And it sounds like your role really is also, it's bridges between organizational security 
but also how you can be in a business enabler, basically, by promoting security and the products that, that Canon produces. This is one of the biggest threats that I think that the information security industry has as a whole is being too inward looking. Right. You've got to realize that we're doing information security because it makes business sense. It's what our customers want. We're not doing information security for information security's sake. Right. And that's one of the key points that you've got to be able to get out there and understand why am I doing this? Is there a benefit to actually doing this? Is there a business benefit for doing this? And is the other customers going to appreciate what we're doing here? All right. Well, Quentin, I want to thank you for stopping by and having a chat with us. Quentin Taylor will be the uh, subject of our live interview, uh, June 19th, our UK virtual conference. So go to our website, check out the details, and we'll have him back. We'll hear about the lifetimes and career of Quentin Taylor and what he thinks uh, security professionals should be looking out for over the near term and maybe a little bit of the long term? Definitely the long term as well. All right. Hey, thanks Very a lot. Good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Bye.